Hello, welcome back to my channel. Do you know what Odo Bubu did to Aisha? I said that this must be a very serious case for Aisha to pack her things, take her kid and her mom and all her properties and run. In the latest video Aisha posted, it was a video she made which she deleted but luckily the video was still there about two women that came with a nine-year-old girl to her house she had to leave the hair she was doing and came to her house and they said the girl is the daughter of her husband that their daughter got pregnant for Odobu while they were in university and they he denied he, he denied the pregnancy and ran and she carried the pregnancy had the child and now the mother the, the girl is in Cameroon she left the baby with her mom and the mom raised the child up till nine years so Aisha was mad. She was just crying. She even pulled off her clothes and was just wearing bra. She couldn't understand. And to cap it off, they brought evidence. They brought pictures of her husband way back in the uni. The pictures he took with the girl and with other girls he was sleeping around with. And Aisha started crying. That was when she believed it. So she, they asked her to call her husband. They told her that she's the, she's the second wife. Oh, that the main wife is the one that gave birth to that nine-year-old. But still, thank God he's a daughter, because if he's a son, imagine, that son is the first son uh, once the father has set him. So finally she called the husband, when he came, he wanted the camera to be off, but Aisha insisted that he wants to rec she wanted to record everything, which she told her sister to be recording. And he denied not knowing those women. And they said, don't you remember when we used to call with our daughter to our house? And they were telling him how wicked he is, that he abandoned a pregnant young girl, and they've been taking care of the child, that now that they are rich. That he should take responsibility of her of his daughter. Then he wanted to take the wife inside to talk, but the wife said, No, I don't want to talk, just say everything here. So she says the marriage is over, that she's leaving, and that was why she left. Even at a point, the small girl came and hugged her. It was so emotional, and she, being a kind girl, she didn't push the girl away. She hugged the girl and started crying and told the girl that she's not shouting because of her, that she has nothing to do with it, that she should go back and sit with the mom while they discuss this. You know, the little girl was shocked. You know, this is this will register in the head of the girl. The girl is not supposed to be there when all this thing is going on. Because if at the end, as Odogu requested that the must do DNA and they found out that the girl is her, which the girl is a carbon copy of him, they look so much alike. This girl will grow up and remember the rejection from her father and the, the what transpired that day. So I, I, the man was even saying that he's not I, Odogu was saying that he's not his child. That he the said girlfriend had a lot of guys, she was uh, she was a wayward girl and he only had one nice time with her and that he even wear rubber. So, but they were not hearing anything of it. So let's see what this thing will lead. Later on, Odogu now made a video confirming yeah, that there's the video that caused the problem. But that he will go for DNA, that where we are there when he was hungry, suffering. Is it now that he had made it? But that's not even the story because if truly that child is his, he's supposed to thank someone that has been taking care of that child for the past nine years. He's supposed to pay them a lot of money. And he, he denied that they didn't tell her that that they gave him to him that she was pregnant but the, the mother said yes there was the mother came with the sister the sister was even the crazy one calling him a sort of name he said he would pound him like calabash like pepe so but he he was respectful to them he told them that they would soon be going which they said they are leaving the child behind i don't know if they left the girl behind or they took the girl back that was where the story ended so now we don't know the next thing that will happen i hope the dna test proves that it's his child because the child looks like him but if he proves otherwise they might reconcile with the wife, the wife will forgive him even though she said he didn't tell her about all those girls he dated but who does that? most men date millions of girls, they can't even remember so you might, a girl might remember people she dated but the guys, the <laughs> what guys do eh? if he had known, he wouldn't even be on internet because all these things come back to haunt people one way or the other so now, this thing teaches us a lot of lessons according to Odogu, he said that whatever you are doing, you have to be very careful, you should learn from him Whatever, be careful of the life you are living, the drinking, the friends, because everything might come back to haunt you in the future, which he is now facing. He told those women that they came to scatter his family, which is what they really came for, because this is not the normal way to go about this. They should have found a way to contact him privately and sort these things out. He's the one that will now relay the, the whole thing to his wife in a calm way. But the way they just came in to his house and meeting his wife and scatter her brain, that's the first reaction from the wife will be to pack out. So that is not the way to go about this kind of a thing. You have to meet the man because it's not, it's not the business of the wife. You have to meet the man and talk it over. Then the man will go home and talk to his wife. If the man doesn't want his wife to hear about it, he can decide to pay them off or be sponsoring the child. Or he can tell his wife and so far the child lives somewhere else. But this one, they just brought the girl bada, bada, to keep there, to take over the responsibility just like that. It doesn't happen 
done that way, and that is why Aisha is mad. Now I understand why she took that drastic measure to move out with the mother and the wife after all they have been through. She said the husband promised to better her life. Is this how he's bettering her life? By lying, keeping secret from him? Me, I'm very sure that he knows about that child. He knows about her and he has been hiding it. How will he hide it when he's, an, he's growing in internet, he's becoming more social? They say they found him on social media. But what, is, what I'm wondering is why did it take them so long to find him? Or uh, maybe he has tried to deny everything and they decided to come out now that he's happy with his wife. So that is it though. Let's wait and see what will happen. Let, let them do the DNA test. Let's see if they can reconcile this marriage because this marriage is just the beginning and and the way i'm seeing things i don't think this marriage is going to work there will be no trust again even if she comes back to live with him and they are going to stop all this social media marriage something and all these their shows so thank you for watching subscribe like comment share bye bye